Today in our series of Doc Flex's interviews, we have with us Dr. S. D. Vanoli, who is the head of the Department of Medical Oncology at Tata Memorial. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining Thank us. Thank you. Can you please elaborate on the situation, the current situation of cancer care in India? Yeah, actually, if you see the main challenge of cancer care in India, why India, all low and middle income countries, is the not just to find cures, but to find affordable health care, basically affordable treatment. Because many of the patients still actually cannot afford the high cost of not only the treatment, but even the investigations and all, everything is becoming more and more expensive. So the main area will be how to decrease the healthcare cost. And, you know, what happens is most of our patients, if you see 70% of Indian population stays in rural India, whereas 80-90% of the cancer care is available in the cities, in the urban area. So this disparity has to decrease because what happens is by the time the rural population tries to come to the uh, major centers in the cities, it, they get many of them get advanced cancers. And as we all know, once the cancer is advanced, basically the outcomes are not that good. And then when the outcomes are not good, you know, people go back and say that even if we take treatment, it doesn't help. So it's a vicious cycle. You know, so the first thing would be for India will be to find ways of preventing cancer, you know, basically, and as you know, 67, not 50, at least 50, 60 percent of the Indian cancers are preventable in the sense like majority of the cancers in India are tobacco related. So, you can prevent those, you can prevent the infection related cancers like cervical cancer, we have, we have hepatitis C causing basically or B causing liver cancer. So, all these are preventable cancers. So, if you can prevent the cancers, I think that will decrease the burden tremendously. And then basically for treatment part, you know, try to take this treatment to the rural area so that if that happens, you know, more patients will be diagnosed earlier and maybe the outcome will be better. And what happens is why do people come to the urban centers? And one of the most important reason is because the Treatment is is available free or better at a very low cost in the centers which are mostly subsidized through the government, central government or the state government. And these facilities are only available in the urban areas. So if this same health, even the NGOs for that matter, all work in urban areas. So if all this health is available to patients in the rural areas, maybe this, you know, patients will go there earlier and take treatment earlier and this will help to improve the outcome of the patient. So, trying to prevent the cancer, trying to bring down the cost by diagnosing early, giving treatment at an earlier stage and lastly but not the least is bring down the healthcare cost by developing India Centric or basically developing cost effective treatment which will be you know, practical in our setting. So, if we do all this together, I think it will help to improve the cancer care in India. And lastly, actually, as we all know, many of our patients come with advanced cancer. So, if we can basically even develop palliative care, not only in the cities, but also in our rural areas, because we cannot cure all cancers. And these patients, if they get good palliative care at the doorsteps, I think that will also improve the outcomes of this patient, basically give them that with dignity, which is lacking at present in the current scenario. So, can you share? Uh, most challenging case. Uh, oh, we see challenging <laughs> cases every day. You know? So, challenging. see, for that patient, for a given patient, it's either life or death. So, basically, but we have a lot of patients, and especially like I told, I go to a rural. We have a Tata Memorial Hospital as a rural outreach center, which is in Chipur, which is in the Konkan area, rural part of Maharashtra, nearly 300 kilometers away from the city. And we have been going there for the last nearly 20 years now. And, you know, the challenging part was when we initially went, it was either give them the standard care, which was not affordable for most of the patients. So, either we had to tell them, no, we cannot treat you, go back home, or develop, you know, treatment which will be cost effective. And because of this opportunity, actually, we developed what's called metronomic therapies. Of these are very low dose oral therapies, which can be given at home, doesn't require much monitoring. So, all this helped us to develop this metronomic therapies 
which we developed especially at this BKL Balavantar Hospital, which is a rural outreach center of Tata. And that was the greatest challenge actually, how to give them either end. Because of that, actually, we have now developed so many metronomic therapies for various diseases, like the commonest one was the head and neck cancer, breast cancer, which we developed there. And now we are trying to see if we are doing the research, doing randomized trials in these Tata Memorial Hospital to see if they really work. So I think this was a big challenge. And I think we have brought down the cost of treatment to a few hundred rupees compared to what was this thousand for the standard therapies. That is a really a good initiative. Yeah. Sir, can you please elaborate on the metronomic therapies for yeah. head and neck cancers? Oh, yeah. So, metronomic therapies is see, normally when we treat cancers, the not only here, anywhere in the world, we use what we call the maximum tolerated dose therapy. That means in phase one trials, when we do, we give the uh, constant, uh, you know, the dose of the drug go up and up till you start seeing the side effect. That is called maximum tolerated dose based therapy, which is usually given every three or four weekly, you know, but this is not ideal way to treat, I think, especially the adult cancers and which require a different way of treatment. So what we do in metronomic is instead of giving this every three weekly, we give them, you know, therapy every weekly or every day or even twice a day. And this is given continuously over a period of time. We have developed, you know, this thing, what we call drug repurposing. That means, see, the West is look, going after what we call drug discoveries. They are going after new, finding out new and newer drugs to be effective in cancers. But this, all these drugs, as you know, are very, very prohibitively expensive. So even if they become available in India, they are out of reach of at least 90% of the Indian population. So it doesn't work. So what we do is we do the drug repurposing. That means the drugs which are already there in the market for other uses, we use, for example, we use you know, in head and neck, like you asked, we are using celecoxib, which is a COX-2 inhibitor, and it has various properties, actually. I don't want to elaborate on that, but through these properties, it actually changes the biology of the tumor, and that helps the chemotherapy to work better. So what we have done in head and neck cancer is we are using celecoxib, which is given twice a day, every day, and we give methotrexate at a very, very low dose, which is given once a week, and this is given for you know, depending, we even started pre-surgery, then give during surgery and continue post-surgery. So this is given usually for one year to 18 months. And that trial is ongoing at Tata now. It's a randomized trial of standard of care versus standard of care plus the metronomic therapy. And, you know, we have already recruited now nearly 210 patients. You know, the limit is, the target is 400 patients. So we are still recruiting. So let us see how what happens. That. But this is a very effective, what we, the preliminary results showed that it was very effective in uh, basically not only improving the patient's general condition for surgery, but also it helped us to decrease the recurrences and at least in the initial trial, it showed that the outcome of this patient was much, much better than what was for the standard approach. So, do you think an online platform of doctors like Doctrixis can help raise awareness about such recent advances, especially Ab those in Kyoto and the Ab Absolutely. I think, you know, this. many of these things are still not published, so you're right. You know, what happens in the literature once it comes, everyone can uh, basically get access to it. But till it is uh, under research and the review, and when it's not published, at least these forums help us to create awareness. And now at Tata Memorial Hospital, since we have started what we call the National Cancer Grid, mm -hmm. I think more and more people will become aware of this, uh, you know, such type of thing and may get interested in doing the research because ultimately everything that we say, in at least in our branch, we have to prove it. And the best way to prove is by doing randomized trials for which we need actually patients and we need more centers because then it becomes more authentic that whether it's, you know, it's really working or not. I think this Doc Plexus platform creating the awareness, getting more people interested in it, I think will help us to, you know, do such trials at a much faster scale than what we are doing now at a one center based trials. Thank you so much Thank for you. this interview. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy Doc Plexing!